So in this video I wanted to talk about floaters. Floaters are one of the most common problems that patients coming to my clinic report. So what are floaters? Well, the eye is lined on the inside by a light-sensitive membrane called the retina and it's filled with a clear jelly-like substance called the vitreous. This is not just made of water, but it has protein strands forming a meshwork throughout. Gradually throughout life, the vitreous gel softens and degenerates in a process known as vitreous sanuresis. The protein-like strands in the jelly begin to stick together and they can start to cast shadows on the retina, appearing as floaters. Eventually, the vitreous jelly softens enough to detach from its position closely opposed to the retina and begins to move and float around inside the eye. This process of jelly detachment is known as posterior vitreous detachment or PVD and it can be associated with a sudden increase in floaters and occasionally flashing lights in the eye. The flashes occur because of the physical stimulation of the retina by the pull of the jelly. They usually appear as crescents or points of light at the side of the vision, more obvious in the dark. Other causes of floaters are possible, so the sudden appearance of new floaters should always be checked by an eye specialist. Now, what problems can a PVD cause? Well, the jelly never completely separates from the retina. It remains firmly attached to the very edges all the way around the eye. Closer to the edges, the jelly is more firmly stuck and separates from the retina rest less readily. And this means that the process of PVD can sometimes damage the blood vessels which overlie the retina or indeed cause tearing of the retina itself. This is why it's important to have a full retinal examination should you develop symptoms of floaters or flashing lights as it's otherwise impossible to know whether any retinal damage has occurred. If a retinal tear has developed, without treatment this can lead to retinal detachment in about 50% of cases. What is the treatment for a PVD? Most patients will have a PVD with no associated complications. If no retinal damage is found, no treatment is indicated. Floaters can be expected to persist, although they do settle down at the bottom of the eye with time and the brain learns to ignore them. Flashes of light may also continue intermittently for a time before reducing in frequency and settling. This process can take several months. If the floaters persist in the center of your vision and remain very troublesome, a vitrectomy operation may be recommended. If a retinal break has developed as a result of the PVD, it is important to treat this promptly with laser or cryotherapy retinopexy. These treatments help to reduce the risk of developing a retinal detachment, which can happen as a result of retinal damage. Laser treatment can usually be carried out in the clinic the same day and dramatically reduces the risk of retinal detachment. 